All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that are in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you, and that the Messiah intercedes for you, the Spirit intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative, and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son who died for our sins. There's plenty of things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures forever. Always keep him first. Always worship him. Thank him. Praise him. Trust him in everything you got going on for the rest of your life. Amen. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, awesome, amazing things. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship, and the services. Much love to all the previous martyrs, the current martyrs, and future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith, who are going through many tribulations for his namesake. Stay strong, encouraged, and steadfast. We are with you all the way. Much love to all the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted and Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new creatures of Christ out there. Much love to all the believers out there, all the brand new converts as well. Welcome to all of you out there, always, forever. All the people who have a dreams or testimonies or encounters or anything like that, God bless you as well. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you as well. Anyone who has a brand new life in the Messiah, welcome. Love you all for sure. If you did not repent, get baptized. Go repent, get baptized ASAP immediately. Shalom, family, greetings to all of you. Welcome everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High, sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise Him. Rejoice, always rejoice, make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, cry out to Him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument, do what you got to do. He is always watching us, so always serve Him with gladness and joy, and always worship His Spirit and truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves, and let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He's come back like a thief in the night in the twinkling of an eye. He's come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let us be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up, washed by the water of the word, washed through the water of the word. Let us keep our lamp and our oils. Let us stand our purpose and call for the most high. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our circumstances, handle it, people. Keep it all together for the Most High, people. Keep the faith. Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the law, statute, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, judgments, charges, everything. Write a copy of the Torah from Genesis to Deuteronomy. Write everything in there. Keep a copy for yourself. Keep doing the Father's will. Keep spreading the gospel, bearing good fruit helping people with the word and being doers of the word as well. Amen. All of us are right. So I hope you all taking it one day at a time. Okay. So in today's message, I'll just go through today's daily devotion and then close out with a prayer, close out with the priestly blessing and then close out, give all the praise, honor and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. All right. 
All right, let's go through this daily devotion. Let's see what we have here. Persistent rebellion blinds us to the hope and help God offers. Okay. Today's daily devotional is based on the tragic downfall of Israel under King Hosea. After betraying the Assyrian overlords by seeking Egypt's help, Israel was invaded, and as people were taken captive, despite their suffering, they did not seek God's help, underscoring the tragic results of their continuous rebellion against him. Story, Bible in a Year, Israel's Sin and Punishment, Scripture, 2 Kings chapter 17, verse 13. Yet the Lord testified against Israel and against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Turn ye from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes according to all the law, which I commanded your fathers and which I sent to you by my servants and the prophet, by the servants, the prophets. Have you ever found yourself facing the consequence of poor decisions, realizing too late the warnings you ignored? The story of Israel's downfall under King Hosea serves as a powerful reminder of the cost of continuous rebellion against God. Despite numerous warnings from prophets, Israel persists in its evil ways, immersing itself in idolatry and alliances with pagan nations. Why do we often ignore warnings, believing our way is better? King Hosea, in a desperate move, sought an alliance with Egypt to escape Assyrian control. This betrayal was quickly discovered, leading to a serious, swift, and brutal response. Israel was invaded, its people were uprooted and taken into captivity, and King Hosea was imprisoned. The once proud nation found itself enslaved, scattered, and suffering. In what ways do you see parallels in your own life where ignoring God's guidance has led to unnecessary hardship? Israel's Refusal to cry to, to cry out to God, even in captivity, highlights the depth of their spiritual blindness. This tragic story underscores the importance of heeding God's warnings and remaining faithful to his commandments. It is easy to become so entrenched in our ways that we miss God's call to return to him. Yet God's patience and love persist, waiting for us to turn back and seek his help. Even in our darkest moments, he is ready to restore and redeem us if we choose to respond to his call. Reflection. Reflect on areas in your life where you might be resisting God's guidance. Are there decisions or behaviors that need to be brought into alignment with his will? Pray for the wisdom to recognize his warnings and the courage to follow his commands. Seek a heart of obedience, trusting that God's ways are always for your ultimate good. Amen. Prayer. Uh, the scripture is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 29. He that troubles his own household shall inherit the wind, and the fool shall be servant to the, to the wise of the heart. To the wise of heart. Prayer. Dear God, I seek your presence today. Help to free my mind of any negative behavior and conflict. Allow me to work with others respectfully and in peace. Please help me to have an appreciation for my unique personality, gifts, and even my weaknesses. Grant me with wisdom and confidence so that I can follow through on my task to reaching my goals. Bless me with your light so that I can be filled with peace and joy at the end of each of day. At the end of each day. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem. He is the God of Abraham. He is the God of Isaac and he's the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob forever. He's the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the most high. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Hallelujah. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord. The advocate. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is the almighty, true, and living God. Praise him. The Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting Father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. 
He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness. The Lord is my banner. The Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, our good fortress, our high tower, our shield, our buckler, our strength, our song, our safety, our defense, our deliverer, our redeemer, our salvation, our strength, our praise, our provider, our helper forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Yahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, 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 Ahawashai. Yahweh Shai, Yeshua. Yes, he is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son is at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is a great physician, can heal all things, could cure all things. He's the carpenter, could fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rested on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust him. Know he could do for you. Abide in him. Abide in his word. Ask the Father what you need in his son's name and it shall be given to you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders. All right. Your faith has made you well. Your faith has blessed you. Your faith has saved you. Your faith is how you overcome the world. Okay. We're justified by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. The just shall live by faith forever. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be in our lives forever. Amen. For sure. Yes, we are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. Yes, he is with us forever. Hallelujah. We are with him forever. Hallelujah. Praise him. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice to Passover lamb. The power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrected the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, he definitely is the righteous one, the savior, the seed, the savior of Israel, he's the, the seed of woman. The savior of the world. He's a shepherd and bishop of souls. The Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, the life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of made flesh, the living word. Most definitely. We know that his word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in the Psalms. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and flawless, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his word is a double-edged sword, as the book of Hebrews says. I mean, we touch and agree, y'all. The Messiah is the high priest of the order of Melchizedek. He is the sinless high priest. He is the everlasting king. He is the way everlasting, always, forever. Hallelujah, most definitely. Prayers up for all the poor people. Prayers up for all the widows. Prayers up for all the orphans, all the fatherless. Prayers up for the tribe of Levi. Prayers up for the strangers, the sojourners, the pilgrims, the refugees, all peoples, all walks of life, the babies, the children, the young boys, the young girls, young men, young women, senior citizens, adults. Prayers up for the elders. Prayers up for single people, married people, divorced people, widowed people, separate people. Prayers up for all people, all households, single parents, co-parents. And prayers up for all households, all situations. Prayers for people going through court cases. Prayers for people in the hospital. Prayers for people dealing with evictions or anything in their relationships or their household or any finances. Prayers up for all of you and encouragement for all of you. Amen. Let us repent and get baptized. Let us forgive others so that the Heavenly Father can forgive us. Let us circumcise our hearts before the Lord our God. Let us be blameless before the Lord our God. And let us keep doing His will and spreading His word forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakatha. I'm Jairus Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.